Hi, we are Bo and Brady, and this is our salty dog, Una. We live nice and cozy in our tiny floating home, Sersha. She's perfect for our family of three. Any more would be quite the squeeze. So far, only one couple have been brave enough to come stay with us on our 35-foot boat. Nick, Bo's brother, crew here, <laughs> and his girlfriend, Sam. Yeah, you're sailing. Yay! We had a blast when they came and visited us in the Bahamas, so they are back. And this is what happens when family comes to visit our tiny home on the water. All right, so it's been a mad dash this morning getting ready for Bo's brother and his girlfriend to come in. We just did, I don't know, a five hour shopping trip. We stayed up all night and put the flooring in, which we'll show you later. He just left on the dinghy to go get him. Our awesome, amazing friends, Laura and Rick, um, picked them up from the airport and are driving them over on their dinghy too. We're really across the bay and our little bitty motor, they're probably gonna get soaked on the way over, but we're really excited because they're actually the only people we've ever had visit the boat. So we know they're amazing boat guests. It's really neat to be able to have them here because we haven't actually been able to explore. So we'll hopefully be able to get some exploring in, maybe some hiking, some waterfalls, we'll see. If you didn't see them in the Bahamas, check it out here. I gotta swim with dolphins. But I gotta go, gotta finish washing dishes and getting some other things put away. And since we're so far away from where they're picking up, we have a little time. These are our amazing friends that went and picked up our family. <laughs> oh boy. Uh -oh. oh shoot. Okay. Um. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hustle. Oh my gosh. Okay. Suitcase one. Ready? Um, Ready? Derby, 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 derby. Good morning. Chef Boy or D. Just cooking up a little breakfast, starting off the day. We are gonna go to the market today and hopefully, I don't know, buy some spices. <laughs> we're doing the market and then I guess we're gonna do the museum, the chocolate museum, and get some ice cream. Maybe, hopefully. Outside, so we decided to pop into the museum, the chocolate museum, and get some of their homemade ice cream. You working hard there? <laughs> I'm grinding the chocolate. You have to work before you can get any ice cream. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Yum. 
work faster. Make the chocolate. Make chocolate good. We need more production out of you. Are you supposed to eat it? We're not, meet, <laughs> yeah, not meeting our quotas. <laughs> Just got done having some traditional lunch. We're gonna go back to the boat. So this is Connor, our buddy from the bar. He's gonna be our tour guide today. <laughs> Although we have to give him directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He drives the mystery machine, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it's, uh, it's on its last leg, right Connor? Oh yeah. But it runs. So we're gonna try to go up, up island, check out the chocolate warehouse. Oh, chocolate factories. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate factory. Warehouse. <laughs> Where they make the chocolate happen. And then hit up one of the sliding waterfalls. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on linger, linger on. On repeat like it will be my favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on. But you got me good, you got me good. I keep on trying to depend, still it feels like I'll pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the road tonight. by himself. All right, we made it. We are at the Belmont Chocolate Factory and we are ready for some chocolate. <laughs> and food, lots of food. We've been doing a lot of eating since these guys have been here. Probably want a cracker. Yeah, he is. I swear I heard him say rainbow on a cracker. Yeah. Rainbow! <laughs> That's so cute. Hello. Hello! We come for chocolate and we get mesmerized by a parrot. <laughs> I know, right? And this is our tour guide. What? Okay. Tour guide, Hector. Oh. He's listening to music. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. Harvesting long bamboo pole, there's a sharp knife at the end. When we harvest, we don't catch them, allow it to drop. Cutlass machete, we crack open in the field. I don't have a cutlass with me, but if you have your camera and you're interested, this is what Coco looks like firsthand. If I want to grow a fruit, take another bean in the dirt, four years time, fully grown. Mm. Lifespan, 50 more years. And cocoa is not native to Grenada. They originated in the Amazon, mm. was brought here in the 1700s. For the process to start, that process is called fermentation. Mm. We need to cover them up with green banana leaves first. Six days inside, fermented beans, would be looking like this. It smells amazing. <laughs> Once drying, mainly the ladies, but if any of you are like, you can try. They come out here every half an hour, removing shoes, sock, get into the tray, and walk. Free foot massage, you'll be having chocolate feet at the end. You may not get another chance to walk on chocolate. Ah, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Take it a small bit, it would be 100% cocoa. And even though we allow staff and our guests to walk in there. I drink. Here you go. Thank you. Co you're welcome. Cocoa is your material. Thank you. You're welcome. 
sugar or milk is added. That hot chocolate was really good. What'd you guys think? Really good. Yeah. Do they need volunteer workers? <laughs> Want to volunteer for a day? You might come up hot. <laughs> Just got done with the tour. It was so delicious. And we got some chocolate on the cheap. Yes, really, really, really good chocolate. Um, they didn't have it wrapped um, in the special wrapping, so we were able to get it really inexpensive. At a discount, yeah. But we're about to go and hit the buffet, which we've heard is amazing, so it's kind of why one of the reasons we came here, so. You could probably hear the music yeah. playing. It's and gonna be a really good meal. Nick and Sam are waiting for us and Connor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Let's get to it. Lunch was delicious. So full. And it was actually less money than we thought it was, yeah. which was a bonus. But we're on to Carmel, Mount Carmel. Mount, Royal Mount Carmel. Yeah, basically the the waterfall that you can slide down. So that'll be fun. <laughs> he's, that's only. That's all I know. All he's been talking about. That's all I know. Waterfall that we can slide down. Yeah. Hopefully it's exciting as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> a little slippery? A little slippery sliding. We found the trail to Royal Mount Carmel Falls. Supposedly you can slide down them. You already mentioned that slide. I did okay. mention the slide because I'm excited. I'm excited to slide down them. If you can't tell. But we're already getting like a mudslide <laughs> just to get there. <laughs> This is supposed to be one of the easier falls and it was only 250 EC to get in. There are a couple of people outside that are guides that if you want to take them, you can, but it's a pretty well marked out little trail here. So we decided to really just experience it for our own. <laughs> this is the slip and slide waterfall. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. It's pretty small and it looks pretty rough. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Don't get caught right there. <laughs> we decided this is not the spot. Ooh, really it's not slippery whatsoever. And there's not enough water flow. So we're gonna keep moving on, see if we can find a better spot. It is so pretty. So pretty. I feel like we're walking through a movie set. It's just so lush and the water is just so pretty and, and you, all. You can't smell it, but somebody's smoking something to cook or something. It smells really good. On the barbecue of some yeah, sort. Yeah, like burning wood, like a campfire. Just all these different trees and the water running and the rocks and the waterfall that we're, I can now see. That was fun. How would you like it? It was it was gorgeous. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> and uh, I'm cold. Oh, <laughs> How'd you guys like it? It was great. Connor? Oh yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our first Grenadian waterfall. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to make it to some no, more. So. But it was really fun that we had these guys come with us and... Yeah. It would have been cool if there was more water for that little water slide. Little disappointed little on slide. that. Little slide. Little disappointed. <laughs> we'll have to come when it rains, maybe. But yeah, it was it was pretty. Yep. It was a nice one. Now back to the boat, Buna Bear, and probably no more food for the day. No.